Hi, in the last video, we were we spoke about what is rheumatoid arthritis and what is its what are its symptoms. Today we will be speaking about how to diagnose it when somebody has a symptom. How to diagnose it? There are certain tests which can help the rheumatologist to tell whether the arthritis is rheumatoid or not. The most common test is ESR. ESR is a very simple blood test. It can be done anywhere. It requires one ml of blood. Usually the ESR will be raised in majority of patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Meaning around 70 to 80 percent of the patients who have rheumatoid arthritis will have elevated ESR. But ESR can be elevated in a lot of things from fever to pneumonia to infection to a lot of other things are there where ESR can be elevated. Second common test which is done is rheumatoid factor or what people call commonly as RI factor. This is again a blood test. This is very commonly done. What people do is when they have a joint pain, they go to the nearby laboratory and tell I, I have joint pains, please do RI factor. This is one of the biggest mistakes. I will tell you why. This RI factor can be positive in only 60 to 70 percent of rheumatoid arthritis. Meaning around 30 to 40 percent of rheumatoid arthritis patients can have negative rheumatoid factor. So what people do? They go to the lab, they test RI factor. If it is negative, they believe that I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. This happens with even physicians also. They call us and they ask, Doctor, doctor I, I have a patient who has uh, joint pains, his RF factor is negative, so he doesn't have rheumatoid arthritis. This is the biggest misconception. Because 30 to 40 percent of the patients can have negative rheumatoid factor and still have rheumatoid arthritis. So if they have rheumatoid factor, does it mean that they have rheumatoid arthritis? The answer is no. If you take a general population, out of 100 people, around 5 to 10 percent of them can have rheumatoid factor positivity meaning they will not have any symptoms they will not have rheumatoid they will have just rheumatoid factor positivity which does not have any significance so what they say if someone has rheumatoid factor positivity it doesn't mean they have rheumatoid arthritis if rheumatoid factor is negative it doesn't mean they don't have rheumatoid arthritis so what is the significance is it a useless test no it is useful because when somebody has a clinical signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis like swelling in the joints, pain in the joints, early morning stiffness, in that context rheumatoid factor hugely supports the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and also tells us that this patient will have a very severe disease and if not treated the joint deformities and erosion will occur much faster. So rheumatoid factor is useful in a specific clinical situation. Second test what we do is anti-CCP. Anti-CCP is another, another blood test which is commonly done. If anti-CCP is positive, very clearly we know this patient has rheumatoid arthritis. But anti-CCP also is positive in only 60% of patients in rheumatoid arthritis. But it has much higher specificity means if somebody has anti-CCP positivity unless proved otherwise it is usually rheumatoid arthritis. Apart from that, there are newer techniques like ultrasound. In our clinic, we do musculoskeletal ultrasound and by the musculoskeletal ultrasound, you can see the power Doppler in the small joints of the hand. So even if RF is negative, CCP is negative, by power Doppler helps us in picking up very early cases. So what is the nutshell? When somebody has symptoms suggestive of rheumatoid arthritis, then only these tests are valid. There is no single test which can clearly say whether you have rheumatoid arthritis or not. Basically, this battery of test along with the clinical symptoms and signs will tell us whether somebody is having rheumatoid arthritis or not. So if you have arthritis or joint pains, what should you do? You should consult an expert and then only do the blood test. Never do just a panel of blood test whether to rule out there is arthritis or not because that is the biggest mistake you can do. By doing unnecessary test, you will get misled. And if your diagnosis is wrong, your treatment also will be obviously wrong. So always consult a good doctor and then do necessary test so that you can confirm a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. And most of the time, rheumatoid arthritis is a clinical diagnosis and investigations are just supporting or corroboratory. Thank you.